The all new Civic is finally in Malaysian showrooms. We were in Thailand earlier, finding out what Honda Malaysia meant when they said it was going to be a game changer. Undeniably, this 10th generation Civic is a good looking car. Kinda like the 8th gen FD, you know, very futuristic. The sleek silhouette, LED headlamps and daytime running lights really come together perfectly. Just like in Thailand, there will be two engines offered in Malaysia. A 1.8 litre base model with 141 horsepower if you want a Civic with no frills or a 1.5 litre VTEC turbo if you want something a bit more special. Both engines send power to the front wheels through a torque converter type CVT. The VTEC turbo model we tested in Thailand had a 7 simulated gear ratio thingy through the pedal shifters. Honda are promising 6 airbags no matter which engine or trim level you choose. They're also throwing in an electronic parking brake with brake hold. Another feature you'll recognize from the HRV is the floating center console. It's not a deal breaker. In fact, it adds to the clean design of the cabin, but putting ports in an inaccessible spot just doesn't seem very intuitive. But that's okay, because the new Civic locks itself. Yep, just turn off the engine and walk away. Pretty useful. Another practical feature is the remote engine start. Just hold the button down on the key fob while the car is locked. You can turn on the engine and the climate control from up to 40 meters away. These features are a lot more useful than self-parking, which comes in some of its competitors from Europe, but it's not just about practicality for the Civic, it's genuinely a cool car. You may have noticed the new Luna Silver Metallic, absolutely stunning. If you book one, go for that, it'll turn heads. On the inside, digital animations are extremely slick. You don't see that in a lot of cars, especially at this price point. You don't even see it in a lot of cars twice this price point. So good job, Honda. With regards to the performance, the 1.5 liter VTEC Turbo is an exciting vehicle. It's definitely more tuned for fuel efficiency and comfort, but it's still got enough power to put itself in the same category as the new Focus in the new Golf. Like we said earlier, if you just want a Civic but you're on a budget, go for the 1.8 liter. It does its job well and that engine has been around for a lot longer so reliability and spare parts won't be an issue at all. The Civic launches in just a couple of days so check back with us on dsf.my for more information on pricing and specifications.